Okay, my friends, so welcome to Challenge Accepted. The lovely Miss Kathy and I are doing for our challenge, this challenge right here that's at Secret Not Secret Kit Club about using frames and frames and frames and frames. We have to use at least two, but ideally as many as possible on a project. So, and Laura Alberts issued this challenge. So I'm working with a kit right now. And it has these, that's a kitty cat hair. It has these kind of like, they're kind of like embossed puppy frames. So I'm going to make sure to get them on there. And I was kind of feeling this strawberry piece of paper. This is from the It's All Good collection by Dear Lizzie. Oh, that just stuck right to it. And then I was thinking of this as being my background I like this kind of a dusty teal. So it is Pink Fresh Studio Joyful Day. So this is what I have so far. Oh, and what my photo is, is this is my husband, this is myself, and we are at the Jeep Ivy Lounge, I think is what they call it, at DTE, DTE Theater Energy. I don't know. They have massive concerts there. And we went to a concert there, um, is it maybe two weeks ago now? To see Brantley Gilbert. So this was before the concert started. There was like kind of a, you have to have special wristbands to be able to go into this kind of cordoned off area in order to hang out and you can order food and drinks and all that kind of stuff there. So this is before the show. All right. so. I don't have any clue other than that about what I am doing. So what I'm gonna do is figure it out and I'll do voiceover for the next part. Okay, wish me luck. So I seriously don't have a plan. I just know that I liked a couple of the papers that were in this kit. This kit that I'm using is dwindling ever so nicely. And I'm, uh, I trimmed off the border strips and now I wanna kind of see where I might like some of this frame placement. So I'm starting to line them up and get kind of an idea of how I'd like the base of this project to go. So I decided I wanted the strawberry paper to be a little larger and I gave it a torn edge. And then I ended up liking the backside of the torn edge. So I slipped that in on there and I think it brings a nice pop of white to an otherwise pretty darn uh, dark background and I do like a little light now and again so this is where I'm gonna line up all the frames and they're gonna aside from switching out what goes light to dark and all that kind of thing they are gonna pretty much stay put I'm gonna go ahead and back the frames I use all the same color on the medium pink and then all the same color on the light pink oh, yeah. So I went ahead and backed the light pink in this pattern paper sheet. It looks like, it's from Crate Paper, and it looks like little Polaroid pictures. And I backed, like I said, all the light pink with that color because I thought it added a little bit of interest. And I did try to choose flowers for the backing. And now I'm going ahead and using this piece of Dear Lizzie printed vellum. It is a gorgeous vellum with a nice medium metallic gold on it. So it's gonna give just a little bit of shine, but it also has that translucent quality that we all love with vellum. Now this here is this T-square ruler that I recently picked up from Tuesday morning. Not T-square ruler, it's like this little laser ruler. And it's the first time I'm using it, so it's taking me a little bit of time to get used to. I'm trying to find that sweet spot where I can get the red laser on the horizontal line to show up just a little bit more on my paper. It might be the problem that I was using dark paper and I have really bright studio lights. I'm not quite sure. So my frames are all in place. My photo's in the place where it's going to go and I'm gonna go ahead and put my title on, which is a very simple title. These are these uh, really great foamy, like foam backed, alphas and the cool thing with that is they have a much more um, vibrant blue on the sides of them as on the top where you know how I, you can see pregame there 
Mm. And it's the sides are see right there mm. like a royal blue. It's pretty cool. I'm kind of digging mm. on them. It's just that the colors are so specific. Mm. It's going to be a little bit tricky finding a lot of layouts for me to use them on, but I'll try. So I went ahead and put the words Jeep Ivy in the medium pink square to the right because that's the place that we were sitting in. And I went ahead also in the bottom left and I went ahead and used that as a journaling square and used my T-square rulers, put some pencil lines in and described where we were for the night and the fact that our son got us tickets to go to see Brantley Gilbert and it was it was a great show. and. They had a secret guest that night that came out and sang four songs, and it was Garth Brooks, which was as big as it gets, so that was a really good time. Um, right here, I'm using these crepe paper uh, chipboard, and you can see that I've been using it like crazy. I love when I can actually get traction with a, project, with a product. You know, I'd love it if at the end of a kit I had absolutely nothing, but I don't think I've ever killed a kit. But I'm doing pretty darn well with these chipboard pieces. I'm not going to have a whole lot at the end. So I'm going through trying to get the little star pieces out. I really like those for this layout. And it was kind of cool because they also had a record on it. So I went ahead and put that above my title as kind of a cluster because we were at a concert, so the record part works. And this is where I'm going to start trying to find those extra little bits that make layout so much fun. These are like, they're like puffy stickers, but they're shiny. So those are fun. But, you know, I've been having a bit of a tough time finding a way to use them. The shapes are irregular, which makes it fun, but also just a little bit difficult. Sorry about that coffee break. Okay, so... I've been using what I can, but I've been struggling with them a little bit. I need to look up some layouts where people have used them. These are the cardstock stickers is from the uh, same collection, and I've been using up a nice amount of them so far. I've been enjoying those, and there's there is so much that I have in this kit that there's yeah it's it's not getting killed. But I'm using bits and pieces as I go and trying to still make sure that it maintains um, the style that I seem to be drawn to. So ended up needing a little tiny bit of a liquid adhesive on there because when I took off the star, the backing decided to stay right there with it. I decided that I want to put uh, a word on each of these little frames down below and I wanted to use a bunch of the the uh, words from the torn paper sheet that you see in my layout. So it has all kinds of inspiring, uplifting, cute words. So that part's great. The only part that is not great is I cannot cut with, with scissors a nice, clean, even cut. So I had to give up on perfection on that one because I just don't have the capacity to do nice, clean lines. Like, I, I mean, Chamel does it all the time. So either... She does not care that our lines are straight, or she has achieved scrappy perfection on that one. So I have the All Heart sticker booklet, and there's some really nice little holographic uh, elements in there. So I'm using those in a few places, as well as looking through, um, so you see, I was seeing if the All Heart tassels work, I'm like, no. Nah. My page is looking impressively busy as it is, so I decided to start uh, having a nice little sprinkle of sequins all around my page. All right, my friends, I am ever so happy with the way this layout came out. I have four, six, seven frames I was able to get on it, so I do think that I was able to complete the challenge for Challenge Accepted. Use all the frames right here. Layout, as you see, says pregame. We are at the Ivy Lounge, and that is it. I did end up using a couple things I really like. I have these handy dandy little pink half pearls that I got at a retreat for Secret Nut Secret Kit Club, and then a couple of different sequin sets. So it's funny, it's like you, you know, I sit there and I'll look at the layout and I'm like, 
it's not come together, not come together, then I throw a couple enamel dots or sequins on and I'm all happy with it. It's really interesting how it's just that those little tiny details at the end end up making you happy with the entire layout. I've got to stop dumping my sequins right on the desk because it is not easy to get them back into these little bags. Anywho, that is it for Challenge Accepted today. Take care. Oh, down below is Kathy's link. And if you could like and subscribe this video, there's even that notification bell like right there if you want to be notified when my next video comes up. Okay, see you soon. Bye-bye.